Hey guys, this is Primeval, back with part 5 of my 8 player free for all with no quitters. Uh, we are Songhai again. Well, I smell a reload in the air. No, it's fine. Okay, so I will end the turn. I mean, like, I will end the part now, right? Yes, that's right. Okay, choosing research. Up next, let's, uh. Well, we could find out where. Yeah, we really want Big Ben, so let's research that first, um, since we do have so much gold here. And suddenly we are not so happy. Okay, this guy can walk over here, take an upgrade, I do have the money for that. And relationship-wise, uh, Yorus could use some salt. So let's go try to trade salt for ivory there. And deal accepted. Looks like Franz is coming for me right now. Uh, so He's dies. got musketeers. Yay! Can't help you with that, Yorus. Sorry. Okay. Let's go and repair this farm. And who else has excess resources that we can trade? Uh, Sweden has a few. Let's see if Kleftor wants to give us the whales. And otherwise, we're good. Okay, there was a deal accepted. Next turn. And hmm, we're about to finish that ironworks, and then we can start pumping out Goliath, which we can later go and upgrade uh, to frigates. Although at the moment we only have three iron. As for our tech path, we're going towards industrialization because I do want to get Big Ben, and then we should probably go pick up. Uh, scientific theory or some of the military techs. Okay. Someone's gone and built Angkor Wat. France has declared war on India. Let's go stick this guy over here. Move our scout up and over. And otherwise, we don't have any tiles to improve. We'll just leave those workers to kick around. So I'm hoping we do have some coal in our territory. If we look at the economic overview, Jenny actually has the most production, so if you wanted to go and build Big Ben, that would be the place to do it. Okay, the ironworks finished. Let's go and... Well, we can make a barracks, and we've got this barbarian archer over here. Let's run over to buff the city's combat strength and kill that archer before there's too much trouble. Okay, so the Swedes have just declared war on the French. And Kleftor, the Celts, has just three cities, but they're size two size 10 expansions and a size 15 capital. So that's pretty nice. Let's send our scout out to see a little more about what's going on. We still have no... well, there's a tile we can improve over there. Let's toss up a trading post, and a trading post. Okay, all of that looks good.
fortify. All right, so we just killed a Celtic spy. Finished a barracks. Uh, we could go and build a bank, but I think I want a Galeas for now. Okay, let's go see. Maybe clear out this encampment. Okay, theater done. We could go for the Forbidden Palace or Oxford. In the meantime, let's go and pick up. Well, an amphitheater is nice, and how much is a windmill going to cost me? A fair amount, but it'll give us a nice production boost, especially if we're going to want to work on Big Ben there. So actually, I prefer the gardens. Okay, so Zanzibar is in awe of us now. They are way over here. Okay, there's no way we can get by with the scout over that way. Okay, so this thing cost us two maintenance. Let's uh, go and add a garden out in front. How's the fight going, Urus? Um, uh, it's looking interesting, but I don't think he can break me. And I'm kind of saddened by that fact because he is going to be killed here and Sweden declared war on him, so ah, probably Sweden yes. will just, yeah, it's already losing all the lands, that crazy Petra city. So it's like very bad idea from France to attack me and not go to defend against Sweden. I don't like that. Did you offer peace? Yes, I did. Hmm. Sweden's going to be a monster here. Yeah, exactly. Meanwhile, I think uh, Kleftor is hiding behind the mountains and myself, and is going for a cultural victory. So I'm I'm happy to let him do that. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I'm pretty much just sitting here and hoping nobody does anything. Uh, so here yeah, France is just going to die on me and Sweden is I don't know how's the attack on Orleans but on my screen it looks like it's falling down so that this doesn't look good for him bank done let's go and grab ourselves forbidden palace if no one's building that we could definitely Give that a go. I really told him that he should be worried about Sweden, but he is not listening. <laughs> Let's go and toss up a national treasury here. My city has 43 combat strength, so really without siege, and he didn't br bring any siege. It's it will be very hard for him to take this city. Okay, so the northern side looks like it might be locked off. It's possible that you can go above the ice there. Um, but as it looks... And, uh, well, I think we have enough farms in the capital. Uh, we can get a trading post in case we want the science. So we just unlocked step two of rationalism, and no one else has even gotten into rationalism yet. So things are looking good for us tech-wise.
So this started out as an eight player game, we're now down to six. Uh, so this is going to take a little while longer. We... wow, Amsterdam has a lot of units now. Uh, so we are on DD, so uh, Amsterdam does get the all of those production bonuses and maintenance uh, reduction bonuses, so they can field a fairly large army off of just the one city there. Oh, and if I said Amsterdam, I meant to say Rotterdam. Um, anyways, uh, my commentary is probably not as vigorous or as coherent as I might want, but... I hope you're enjoying the game nonetheless. Uh, we're in a fairly good position here. We're just a little bit behind France in terms of manufactured goods. We have a comfortable tech lead, and we are the average in terms of soldiers, so we should be able to defend ourselves uh, against most types of armies. We will have some trouble if um, England devotes itself to a navy and then uh, comes and kills us. Okay, so we do have a bunch of coal. So I'm definitely pleased uh, with that outcome. One, two, three. This coal is out of range uh, and uh, we can go and improve that coal soon. Okay, up next. Uh, since we're not feeling the pressure, let's head over to public schools, although that might not be the wisest move. Uh, where we traded ivory for silk has ended. We have a new spy, and why don't we go and drop this guy? Well, let's drop him into um, Edinburgh, uh, so that we can keep an eye on what wonders they're building and how quickly they'll be completed, since we don't really want to wonder fail um, on everything here. Uh, let's go grab a bank, and this Goliath can do a bit of exploring. And perhaps a few of these guys might want to take a upgrade. Ah, uh, they're probably fine. We'll upgrade one of them. Seems reasonable. Now, we should have some great scientists coming soon in uh, four, five, and six turns. Of course, that'll spread out uh, as we as the cost of each progressive great person increases. Okay, let's get started on Big Ben. We should have a good head start here since we were the first to enter the industrial era. And, uh, tiles to improve. I don't see any. Let's see what's out over this way. Nothing. May as well explore this little bit of land as well. And, hmm. So there's an English city here. Uh, let's see if they'll take peace. Uh, ivory for silver. Uh, since I'm not number one, I'm number one on text, but I'm not number one on anything else. Kitty JD might take peace with me here, um, but he also might think that there's no way he would help out the tech leader. Okay, so Katie JD went and rejected that. Okay, ivory to William has ended. We have some spare ivory. And we can take a quick peek at the English city here. Uh, no new intel there. Construct a mine, and let's go and see what's happening over by La Venta. Okay. Let's 
go put a farm in over here and as for you uh, nothing too special I guess we can go and chop down uh, that just to get it online diplomacy overview who has spare luxury resources currently no one except for Sweden Uh, let's see if Katie Judy will take peace now. Offer the same deal again. Let's see, maybe he changed his mind. Looking at the economics tab, Gao now has the highest production. Uh, we're getting a nice modifier from the windmill. Um, we would like to continue to grow here and not work in this crappy hill. And yeah, that looks good. Okay, to Gaza can fire on this barb. We can go and put in a trading post over this way. Orléans has been captured by Sweden. Uh, and that's the Super Petra city, so that's bad news for us. It means a much stronger Sweden. Okay, so we could try for the Porcelain Tower here, or the Forbidden Palace, or the Taj Mahal. Okay, just a phone call there. Uh, let's see, we're still establishing, establishing surveillance. Do we want to try for the Porcelain Tower? Would be nice, free great scientist of the deal. Uh, Taj Mahal wouldn't be bad either, nor would the Forbidden Palace. Um, until we can get some more intel on that, let's just go and well let's put some turns into it it's okay if we waste a turn and over here theater done let's grab a yeah. well walls seem like a good idea wander over to Leventa. Leventa is allied with no one. So we're trespassing in Leventa. Uh, we just had a great scientist born. View. They're currently not working on anything. We can go and check back later. And over here. Stay on alert. Do a little more exploration. Okay. I think I'll settle this first scientist. So let's go and drop him over here, say. Um, and let's see what Edinburgh is up to. Porcelain Tower in one turn? Come on. Alright, so we'll go and add perhaps the Forbidden Palace to the queue. So, Katie JD is not responding to my offer of peace here. I'm not entirely sure why. Um, it's fine if he doesn't want to take it, but he could at least say no thanks, and maybe as a bonus, here's why. Uh, 
Sweden's on top in terms of manufactured goods and gold per turn. Not by a lot though. Uh, we just received a deal from Ivan the Only, so we'll have to withdraw that deal. Furs for incense. I do not have spare furs. So the answer is no. Okay, we've met Mombasa. Ah, down here. Let's go pledge to protect them. Seems like most of the city-states have gems as their luxury resource, and since we already got gems from conquering Prague, I'm not too excited to uh, friend up with any of these guys. That's cleared. Go slap up a farm, and maybe get over there and put up a mine. Fortify, choose production, let's get to work on an aqueduct. Now, what are they building over in Edinburgh? Uh, well, they just completed the porcelain tower. If you met Mombasa, we have 11 turns until we finish Big Ben. So we're losing grasp on Zanzibar here. Uh, okay, Katie JD was away, that's why he was so quiet. Let's go and offer him the deal again then. Silver for Ivory, propose. And up next, we're going to want, well, all these tiles are already improved. Okay, what's Cleftor up to now? National Treasury, that's fine. Next turn. Uh, let's go send this guy, the scout, out to bust a little more fog in this area. The Indians have captured the French city of Troyes. Okay, so we really should, well, we can start work on a factory here. Um, if we want to hurry these places up, we can go and buy our factories. We do have the gold for that, so I think we will. Shade is off a turn. And start work on a factory. Okay, so Katie JD is probably incoming with some sort of a frigate fleet. Trespassing in Milan. I want spices. Someone's gone and built the Taj Mahal. Nothing to improve here. We're at public schools next turn. Go and see, here's Cardiff, 13 strength, right beside England, separated from France by a mountain. User joined your channel. Why this channel is called Barbie Go? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Sound muted. Okay. 
Okay. So we just unlocked scientific theory that increases the yield from our academy and from our lumber mills. Let's have a quick look at what's happening on the other side of the venta. Nothing too exciting. And military might wise, we are fourth, slightly above average, and only slightly below the leader. And strangely enough, the leader is actually the DD controlled AI. Um, may as well get another source of coal up, even though it's out of range for any of our cities to work it, but uh, I guess just in case, having an extra coal might be good. Okay, let's go put a mine here, and no... Okay, up next, we need to get over towards navigation. Let's grab astronomy, and then we'll punch up towards gunpowder. Well, that'll be enough for now. Let's go see what uh, Kleftor is up to. Starting to make crossbows. Should I be worried? France is currently the weakest. Okay, open borders with William ended. Trespassing in Leventa, Zanzibar, Milan, and Ivan entered the industrial. So he's pumping 103 culture per turn in his capital versus our 51 culture per turn nationwide. And the Celts have unlocked full tradition, full liberty, and are one step into rationalism. Let's go and work some more of these food tiles. Fine. Likewise in Timbuktu. Hmm, I guess that's all right. Let's try to finish that mine a little faster, though. Okay, next turn. Let's try and uh, trade. Nope, oh, too late for that. Who else has spare resources? The Swedes do. I don't really want to help them out. Uh, no one else does, however. Sail over this way. Let's see if uh, Katie Janey will swap items now. Okay, trespassing in Milan. Prague has grown. Discovered astronomy. Yoros entered the industrial.
Sig Tuna has gold, a great general, and a crossbow. Okay. So we're currently unhappy. Uh, that means I'm willing to trade happiness with the leader. Let's see, luxury resources. Uh, that's our furs, that's not going to help. We could give some money to Laventa, that wouldn't help either. Perhaps? Well, where can we get marble from? Ivan and no one. Alright, I guess we'll just have to live with the unhappiness for now. We had been growing along quite nicely. Okay, trespassing in the land, the land longs for culture. They want us to demand tribute from Kuala Lumpur. And we've discovered steel. Okay. Let's just have this worker sleep there for now. That's all done. Go put a mine on that hill and it's pretty much it. Okay. So if we really wanted to squeeze the most possible science, I could have bought a uh, public school back when we grabbed that technology. However, I'm waiting for the cheaper purchasing from Big Ben. Uh, that'll give me a nice 15% discount. Okay, still trespassing in Milan. Let's get out of there. This worker can go to sleep for now. Have some more coal hooked up and there's nothing else to do really, we'll just stand on the road and sleep and let's go and upgrade this swordsman, he does have cover so next turn we'll hopefully finish the Forbidden Palace and then the turn after that, Big Ben. Let's see what Edinburgh's up to. They're still training army. Um, that's kind of concerning. We might need to go and grab ourselves artillery uh, in order to deal with them. Okay, so Katie JD has surpassed us temporarily in score there. We just got ourselves a great scientist. Uh, he can sleep there for now. I think we'll save him to try to get us to research labs as quickly as possible. And, well, we could take order. That would give us, and that would get us closer to the 25% science boost from factories. So that also puts us into uh, a little more happiness. Okay, they're still churning out their military units. And they're building forts. So they're definitely getting a little paranoid there. Uh, let's go pop out another Goliath and perhaps this one will want to come home take a friggin upgrade 
Okay, Kuala Lumpur. Grade there as well. Toss up a mine. Sleep. Okay, good. So, Katie JD is on five cities. We just got ourselves a Goliath. We'll take naval targeting and we'll go to sleep. And we'll drop this guy in here. Choose production. Let's go grab a public school quickly. And here, four turns for a public school, that's fine. Okay, let's swing down this way. We've just met Geneva. So now we're down to five players. The musket can fortify. So Kleftor is pumping an insane amount of culture. He's gone full tradition, full liberty, two rationalism, uh, whereas we've gone full liberty, two rationalism, and that's it. Uh, Katie JD has yet to uh, open up a full policy in rationalism, so that's good. He's usually the first to rationalism in uh, the other games I've played with him. Hey Eros, how's it going? Um, so I think I'm going to end part 5 here and start on part 6.